So I finally finished my wall mounted cat feeder project that's automated. As you can see I built it here out of plywood. It's got a big gravity fed uh, hopper here at the top as well as on the side you can see there's a window where we can check to see how much food is inside. I I've made it like this so that we could put bags and bags of cat food inside without ever having to worry about it and it would also be unobtrusive. Uh, over here on the side we've got this clear window and some indicator lights on here that will show us what the status is of the electronics at any given time. Um, I made the hopper as big as possible so that I could let it run a long time and I've got it set up to dispense cat food at certain intervals per, intervals per day. Inside the hopper there's a sensor that will tell us when uh, the system is empty and when we need to put, pour more bags of cat food in but under normal operation the cat food will come down here into this lower area the agitator here which is pointing inside will stir it up to make sure that the cat food doesn't bind and it will fall into this PVC T here. Now I've printed up some on the 3D printer some custom parts to push the cat food forward so as you can see in the back here there's a little servo mounted in there and that turns and it pushes the cat food forward into the bowl. In here there's a laser fence and when it reaches the laser fence then the system will shut off because it knows that uh, the food is is present. So four times a day, three times a day, however much uh, I decide to set it, it will come through here, check to see if it's full, fill it up, and if it's already full, it won't do anything. So I'll go ahead and reset the system so we can see it working. Okay, so now the system shut off because the uh, kitty crunchies have come up so high that they've covered off that fence and it knows that the system is full. And over here on the side we have an indicator light showing us that that part of the system is full. The other lights will show things like manual operation. We have a button down here that we can push whenever we choose to turn the kitty feeder on for a short amount of time. I'll go ahead and post all the design files on uh, Thingiverse.com, and if you're interested, go take a look.